So if you if you watch this show or listen to our podcast, which is very popular, if you do any of those things, you know that uh, we bumped into Dave Weigel, the reporter for the Washington Post, when we were in Las Vegas covering the Ted Cruz rally. And Dave Weigel um, it was, was growing a mustache for the first time I've ever seen him with a mustache. And I thought it was a fake mustache at first. And uh, it certainly looked comical. It looked like you would put it on for like a joke, right? Anyway, so we did a thirty, like a thirty-second video. We, we Hank and I did a thirty-second video, and we were like, "Hey, look, Dave. Well, there's Dave Wiggle. What's that thing on his face?" And we pointed out his mustache, and I go, "Oh, it's a fake mustache because he's funny." Dave and I thought that Dave Wiggle would see that and uh, he'd think it was funny, and he'd tweet it out, and then uh, we'd become friends. And turns out he's very <laughs> thin-skinned for a news reporter, and he blocked me immediately over that little video. So um, I think it's funny. So I tweeted out that video then. I'm like, well, I'm going to tweet it out to my fans and tell people that you blocked me over it, you thin-skinned wimp. And uh, by the way, he's half libertarian, half Republican. So that makes him uh, uh, liberal. And um, I don't know what it makes him, but it doesn't make him a good reporter but uh not that he's not but that doesn't make him one okay so every july 4th he fires a rocket up his ass yeah something like that i don't know what that i don't know what that means but i bet he does that and i bet he has his ass has a nice mustache so i so somebody tweeted this guy named hector madrigal tweeted this he says why are these the top searches for dave weigel and the top search it says dave weigel mustache (laughs) If you go to Google and you type in Dave Weigel, you know how it gives you the things to click. It says Dave Weigel mustache, Dave Weigel Twitter, and then Dave Weigel moustache. <laughs> and then Dave Weigel Instagram podcast, Bloomberg Wiki. And then the next one is Dave Weigel Jimmy Dore. So it's nice to know if someone Googles Dave Weigel, uh, three out of the top uh, 10 uh, things that come up have to do with Jimmy Dore. Mustache, moustache, and Jimmy Dore. So that's nice. Now, why do I bring this up? Just to set the table, because Dave Weigel, um, is have, he's facially hair challenged. He wants face hair, but it really looks horrible. Here he was uh, the other night. I think he was in Oregon. I'm not sure exactly where he was. But uh, you see the bad facial. So now he's decided to try to grow a goatee, but it doesn't seem like he has enough testosterone to grow uh, a goatee. You see how this, there's no, it's just like a patch on his chin and then a mustache, which is not a goatee. What, and what, what is he doing with his friend there? What this is, is more of a bork. That looks like a, a uh, like a, a Justice Bork. He's kind of going for a Justice Bork look. If you know who that is, look right. him up. If you mm-hmm. don't mm-hmm. know who it is or don't want, don't look him up. So why do I bring this up? Because there he is, uh, he tweeted, he, this was from his Instagram. This is Dave Weigel, and he says, hey, I'm drinking sherry from a bone luge. Control yourself, ladies. That's Dave Weigel. I told you he's funny. That's why I thought he would get a kick out of that video. He's funny. He has a sense of humor. Obviously, he does with that mustache. <laughs> but here, <laughs> but here he, so there he is being hilarious. He's drinking sherry out of a bone luge. I guess that's some kind of, wherever they were, that must be a thing. Where I come from, bone luge means something a little means different. Something a little different. Yeah, boy. I, <laughs> uh-huh. Boy, I dropped, yeah, I, was, I, dropped, I dropped the soap at the gym. Talk about a bone luge. <laughs> Anyway, so he, there he is drinking sherry. He, he, he's the one who sent that out on Instagram. Dave Weigel did. Uh, drinking sherry out of a bone luge. Uh, then the next day, uh, I saw this. I saw this as a headline at the Daily Caller. I saw this as a headline. Oh, Washington Post Dave Weigel falls asleep on the radio show after drinking sherry. <laughs> no kidding. So he goes on the Hugh Hewitt show. <laughs> so Dave Weigel goes on the Hugh Hewitt show and... Uh, he he they ask him questions and also the Hugh Hewitt show is on early in the morning right and so I'll, I'll, uh, here's what happens so they call he calls in I'm gonna play it for you I'm gonna play the audio for you here's the audio here's the here's the Dave Weigel audio I'm a big believer that people tweet things from other people because they think somebody made a really meaningful point one of the most uh, the last things Dave Weigel did last night was a quote from Newt Gingrich in which he said Washington elites mock Trump for mispronouncing Tanzania they don't get that the most important word that he pronounces is America tell me why you thought that was uh, an important point so there's the question there's the question to Dave Weigel. Tell me why you thought that was an important point, important enough for you to retweet, Dave Weigel. Here, want to hear Dave Weigel's response? Okay, so now here comes Dave Weigel's response. 
Dave? Mm-hmm. Dave? Hi, Dave. Yes? Hi. Uh, did, did you catch the last question? Uh, I did, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. So, sorry, I'm, I'm uh, repeated. I'm, I'm, I'm in a place where I can't hear very well. Oh, no, no problem. <laughs> First of all, there's several things going on there. Did you get it? Did we able to get it? Could you hear him snoring? You could yeah. literally hear him snoring. You could literally hear him snoring. I don't know if it got picked up, but you could literally, <laughs> I heard it in my earphones. You could literally hear him snoring. The host says, by the way, it's a guest host on the Hugh Hewitt show of Mark Davis. And he says, Dave, Dave, and you hear him. Uh, 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 yeah, yep, yep. Did you hear the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Do you want to give me an answer? Oh, uh, could you repeat the question? Because I couldn't hear it. I just said I heard it, but I did it. So proving again that lying is always funny. That's one of the rules of comedy. Lying is always funny. So Dave's knee jerk is the lie, and it's hilarious, and that's why I know he's funny. And I, there's got to be a joke in him blocking me, right? There's got to be a joke. Because he's hilarious. The mustache, this falling asleep, the lying immediately. Lying is hilarious, especially lying from a newsman. Hilarious. Hilarious. When a news guy li- lies on a news show, freaking hilarious. It's, God damn it. It's like, what are you, Bill Murray? This guy's like Bill Murray level funny at this point. Am I wrong about this? He's a natural funny man. He is a, na- they should introduce him as Washington Post reporter and funny man, Dave Weigel. Hey, Dave, come on out. <laughs> Dave, Dave, come on up. Yep, yep. Were you up, Dave? I was certainly up. <laughs> That's funny. Dave Weigel proving once again lying by a newsman. Hilarious. Don't freak out.